Well, I'm a bit of a historicist in the sense that I want to immerse people in an understanding of the past. And I was kind of lucky because I started um, doing full-time teaching just about the same time when a lot of multimedia sources became available. And so I was able to use songs and videos and images. And I was you know, the f one of the first generation of people who were devoted to PowerPoint. And so all of those sorts of audio-visual materials um, allowed a greater um, use of primary sources than had been the case, and a greater variety of primary sources than had been the case before. And then I was also, I think, um, able to ride on the whole Web 2.0 wave. So whereas using all of these primary sources was, was good, um, it was also didactic. There was, I was simply doing a sort of show and tell all the time. Um, but now there's a greater ability to be interactive through using um, various forms of feedback mechanisms in class, out of class, so that students uh, can engage themselves and talk back to me in ways that they couldn't do before. Well, uh, the most popular thing with students e are clickers, so electronic voting, like on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And so you can break up lectures that way um, by just having every 10 minutes a little question which they can discuss with their mates and give an answer to, and it doesn't matter if they get it right or wrong, and it's anonymous. And um, it transforms lectures from being a sort of long, hard slog into being bite-sized um, chunks of information which they can then react to. Okay, so, so what you do is you uh, give each student um, a device like a remote control, then put up a question on the PowerPoint, and they discuss it with their friends, produce an answer and I then segue into the next part of the lecture using their answers as a cue and trying to dispel misapprehensions or um, talk about different interpretations and debates. And you've got to be careful uh, not to let the technology drive the teaching because there are all sorts of different possible techniques that you can use which come on stream on a on virtually a yearly basis and you've got to think what are you trying to achieve using that technology rather than simply trying things out just for the sake of it and not all technology works um, and uh, you know it has been a case of trial and error but on the whole I think that it has transformed the teaching experience into being a more lively and actually a more interactive process, yeah.